I should have been at my husband's side. He'd still be alive, and I'd still be his hunt wife. Well, look upon my husband and weep, for his next journey is to the Ashen Forge. Perhaps a new chief will deal with Kurog's latest nonsense. Until then, leave us to our misery. This is a private matter. I must tend to my son. Rotten luck, Chief. Rotten luck. Don't see many new faces at Chateau Range. Our only neighbors are surly giants. Speaking of which, Chief Ogzor had a nasty encounter with a giant's club a short while ago. Best keep your voice low. We don't know how much time he has left. Dying. No amount of healing magic can fix smashed brains. Soon as he goes, Shatul is in for dark times. The clan will tear itself apart without a good contender for chief. I want to prevent that. We know which giant smashed the chief. I want to return the favor. That'll show the clan I'm a good contender, which would help keep the clan together. Thing is, I'm no tracker. Care to help me find the bastard? I have a few words to say to Chief Ogzor's mother. I'll meet you where Urkale the Cleaver's tracks begin. I don't know why we call him that. He carries a club. I don't really know. Most giants are surly enough. Urkale the Cleaver, we've come to learn, is a mean drunk. Once, he tore off an Echater's crest and tossed it across the snow like he was skipping a stone. Heard they found it in Farron's stronghold. You're right. Only made it a hundred paces before it slammed into a tree. Took half a day to saw that bloody crest out. We tried to reattach the thing, but the Achater wanted nothing to do with it. Most of Chatul's warriors died in the first Winterborn raids. Without a good contender for chief, neighbor will fight neighbor for a title they can't hope to hold. We can't afford that, after losing so much to the raiders. Truth is, Everyone's afraid. The Chief kept this clan together for two decades. A strong contender will quiet their nerves. Slaying the giant who killed Chief Ogzor? None will doubt my strength. You want me to quote the Code of Malekath? Go on about vengeance and grudges? I've had my fill of that. Something I learned around all these Echater. The ones who bray the loudest never lead the pack. Someone whose actions speak loudest. Someone like Chief Ogzor. Yes, I want to be Chief. I spent two decades watching this clan prosper under his guidance. I'm not relaxed. I just wasn't willing to kill my best friend for his clan. Contenders for Chief fight it out in the Bloody Knoll. It's our shrine to Malakath, up on the hill. He who emerges is Chief. Simple as that. All right, let's find Urkale the Cleaver. Is that a track? It's... no, it, sorry. It's just a melted snow. Feels like we're lost. I'll, you know, I'll just follow you. Should I be quiet? Don't want to disturb your tracking. I'll be quiet. Some trackers can spot.
Is that a track? It's... no, I... sorry. It's just a melted snow. Yazara? Yazara! Oh, guess she's out. Listen, we both know you're the one who avenged the chief. Happy I could land a few good smacks. I'll tell Yazara when she's back. You deserve the credit. That's up to the clan. I'm only doing it because Shatul needs a chief. Can't say I enjoy staking a claim while my friend is dying in that tent. I'm not so sure I want to be chief again. Small clan. Our stronghold let Shatul camp there in the summers, in return for Choice's pick of a Chater. Chief Ogzor wanted to strengthen the bond by marrying away his daughter. Ashruka was to be my hunt wife, but that didn't happen. Ashruka refused to be traded like the Choice's pick of a Chater. She chose exile rather than marry me. A month later, raiders from the Reach wiped out my whole clan. Chief Ogzor took me in. Don't really know. Shatul tries not to talk about its exiles. Chief Ogzor forbade anyone from speaking of her. I think he blamed himself for pushing her away. After her mother died, Ashruka and her father were always at odds. It was inevitable. No. I've always respected how Urshruka held her ground, and I wasn't too keen on the match. I'd known her since she was a child, so going from Uncle Lorig to husband? We call that a Valenwood marriage, but don't let a wood orc hear you say it. Never. Chief Ogzor knew I'd consider that a dishonor after what he'd done for me, and Shatul needed my muscle. It wasn't charity, if that's what you're thinking. It was my own fault. I was more full of pride than sense back then. Shatul warned us of Reachmen they'd seen, prowling through the hills. I thought Chief Ogzor was trying to make up for Ashruka running off. Didn't pay it much mind. Then my clan was gone. Chief Ogzor's mother, Shatul's wise woman, though she hates it when we call her that. It falls to her to select the candidates for chief, and she's, uh, she's right over there. Yazara, look! I cut this off her kale the cleaver. My friend here struck the killing blow. Impressive, Larig. Why don't you show the others? Sound advice, as always. Come closer. We should speak. You avenged my son. I will not forget what you did for Shatul today. Nor will the clan. If you are willing, I have need of someone so capable. If Shatul is to survive, there must be a new chief. Larig is one contender. The other is Ulgesh. I want you to meet him. Ulgesh returned from Orsinium shortly after my son's injury. He declared himself a contender, but I'm not sure why. The boy never had brains or ambition. 
Serving in the Orsinium Guard was my son's suggestion. Shatul needs a chief who looks out for the clan before himself. We have no walls to hide behind, only our wits and our skill herding a chat here. If Olgesh has neither, I need to know. I sent him after Scamper, our laziest at Chatir. Ulgesh can explain the task. He's never been talkative, but see what you can learn as you aid each other. I'll want to speak with you when you return. Winter on the range, it's almost poetic. The stillness, the quiet, the cold fit to freeze your uh, fingers off. Does, doesn't it? My great grandfather chose the spot. Far away from everything. Plenty of trees, game. We drive the echetes to pasture in warm months and corral them up here in the winter. This winter's likely to be colder than most. Live on the land as long as I have. You learn to read the signs. The herd is restless, the wildlife flees, and the giants. But I think all this snow gets to them sometimes. Who are you? I don't need your help. All right, let's finish this so I can get back to the clan. Yazara asked for a snow truffle. This lazy beast can sniff it out, but it's a two-person job. I can't keep Scamper and hunt for a snow truffle. No clue. A potion, maybe? Use God ahead, find a truffle patch. Give a whistle. I'll send Scamper your way. Scamper will sniff the patch. If there's a snow truffle, he'll dig it up. You grab it and bring it to Yazara. Got it? Scamper is fast asleep. Give him a good kick to wake him. Keep trying, Scamper. No truffle. I think he found one. Scamper earned some sleep. Let's get back to Shatul. I 
think you found one. Get that snow truffle to Yazara. And thanks. I won't forget your help. 